Here's another one made for the modern era. There's a new alien movie in the works from the director Fade Alvarez, uh, don't, who did Don't Breathe, and Ridley Scott. And this is going straight to Hulu. Since this will be a Disney, you know it's going to be butchered because you're already seeing what they're doing with Predator. And uh, I'm going to read this off uh, J.B. Augustine uh, over at Bounding. If you aren't tired of the Alien series yet, rejoice. A new movie is coming and is going straight to Hulu. Produced by Ridley Scott and 20th Century Studios, Disney. As most movies with the Xenomorphs tend to be, the film is being held by horror director Fade Alvarez. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the new Alien is based on a pitch Alvarez made to Ridley Scott years ago. Or whatever it was, he must have been really impressed uh, because Scott got in contact with Alvarez in this decade to let him know he's willing to make it. President of 20th Century uh, Steve Asbell says the company was just amazed by the strength of Faye's pitch. <laughs> he added it was just a really good story and a bunch of characters you haven't seen before. Of course. Asbell remarked it, uh, to that bringing the Alien Project to Hulu allows, allows it for be edgier truer to its horror roots. We've heard that before. It's not a film that is uh, to be all things to all people with those Argentian budgets. He said they will be, uh, they get to be authentic what they are and closer to his, uh, uh, to his roots. Part of the Disney, em a part of the Disney empire who has a commitment to churn out 10 movies a year to grow uh, its conglomerate streaming profile. Predator, a franchise that also resides in the Alien Spear, is being renewed as part of the deal as well with its installment of Prey. It debuts in Hulu this summer. Uh, I think the, the, the I think that's all been settled up with the Predator case. I believe that's all been done. Handpicked by Sam Raimi to be the Evil Dead's creative successor, Alvarez, di director, a remake of the DYI Blood and Gut, Guts classic in 2003. After before showing his own vision of horror and Don't Breathe. Don't Breathe was a good movie. Don't Breathe 2 sucked. Honestly, they went in, in a total different direction with the, with the sequel. You know, I, I did the first one I, I did enjoy. It was really good. This past year, he made Don't Breathe 2, which was involved the crafting stories of Netflix's Tain Shaw Massacre, uh, another, another movie that, uh, that shouldn't have been done over Netflix, a sequel reboot to the infamous Toby Hooper film ever is also produced. Ridley Scott indicated last year that this new alien film was in development and it would be have no ties to its earlier efforts at explaining the original Xenomorph and Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Eh, some good news. Additional, a TV series based on the alien myth of is coming to FX, which means it will turn up the Hulu along Alvarez film when it hits streaming. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? Depends on what story are they talking about. You know, there have been many times, you know, we've seen Alien vs. Predator. We've have, uh, we've dealt with the uh, several Alien movies. We dealt with Prometheus. We dealt with Covenant. You know, and we always hear that, oh, we're going back to its horror roots. We're going back to its roots in horror and stuff like that. And they haven't. I saw Alien back in the 70s and its sequel. And I love those two first films. Alien 3 had something to it. Could have been better. I think the original script would have been a better script for it. Uh, from what I understand on there. Because it shouldn't have gone in the direction that they did. The, oh, what was it? Alien Resurrection. That had promise. The sequel book is a little bit more interesting. I, you know, honestly, I get that, get the book sequel to it. And that's, that's a more interesting storyline than the uh, resurrection on there, which it's an actually, it's a continuation after what the uh, resurrection on there. And it's the same characters, uh, the survivors from resurrection uh, continuing on working together on the, uh, on the ship that they, that they're on. And, it, you know, like I said, Sometimes novelization turns out to be better than some of the stuff they put out or, the, or something in the com comic books turns out to be, eh, you know, pretty good on there. Will this end up to be? 
Let me tell you, it's like you say Ridley Scott's involved and Fede Alvarez is involved, but are they in control? This is Disney. You've seen what Disney's doing. You've seen already the, the butchering that they've done. If it ain't Disney, it's Amazon. If it ain't Amazon, it's CBS. Uh, if it ain't CBS, it's, it's the CW. This, this continues day in, day out, the garbage that's being cranked out. This is why you have end of companies like, the, I think it's the Daily Wire, that's putting out their own movies. They're making their own movies. From what I understand, the couple of movies on there would have been pretty good. Uh, but like I said, this is, this is constant. The garbage, the, the destruction... You know, you see what they did with Wheel of Time. You see what they're doing with Lord of the Rings. Um, you know, if they, if someone could give, you know, if someone could raise twenty six million dollars to make a really good novel series, that should tell you alone. That should tell you that what people want. See, they just don't give a shit. You know, a lot of these elites. You know, don't bail them out. Don't, you know, if you, you, you want to go see the movie, go right ahead. But if you feel that basically th that it's garbage, it, you know, you have the right not to go in. AMC is going to charge you a surcharge just to go to the, see these blockbusters. I'm in New York City. I'm not paying no fucking 20 to $25 to see a movie. I'll wait for that 45-day window or hi, ho, ho, ho. I'm going to the seas we go, you know, th this is, this is, you know, the situation you think, you think that basically I'm going to pay extra for these movies, these crappy films. I just can't see how some of these studios are still alive today.